to examine the remainder of the digestive organs, the gizzard can be grasped, and by blunt dissection, these soft tissues incised. And as we reflect the gizzard, we immediately see this oval organ, which is the spleen. The spleen is important in poultry because it's the site of many tumors and also can be a good organ to culture if septicemia is suspected, such as foul cholera. The digestive tract can be reflected, and as we reflect, we see air sacs. This can be removed by blunt dissection. And in this broiler breeder hen, we see the ovaries showing a nice normal hierarchy of follicles. This is a physiologically active oviduct. This hen is in full production, and this is a normal size and shape of the oviduct. To examine the lower digestive tract, we first incise the proventriculus here. The, in this bird, the proventriculus is covered in fat. This is the proventriculus, or the glandular stomach. This is the gizzard or muscular stomach. It empties into the duodenum, which in a chicken has a descending and an ascending loop. And this white fleshy material between the two loops of the duodenum is the pancreas. On the ascending loop of the duodenum, we encounter the gallbladder. The gallbladder is connected to the intestine by the bile duct. And this is where bile is added to digestive uh, content for fat digestion. Proceeding down the digestive tract, we come to the middle small intestine. Both the duodenum and the middle small intestine are prone to infection by coccidia and other parasites. As we proceed down the intestine, we encounter the large intestine. The components of the large intestine are the paired sacs of the cecum, which can be green or brown. These are joined at this point where we have the very distal por portions of the small intestine. These two bulges are the cecal tonsils, which are lymph normal lymphoid patches here and here. And then this is the remaining colon or large intestine.